and welcome back to another vlog i hope you're all doing really well um this vlog is going to be a little couple of days away in london with my business partner <laughs> and best friend <laughs> Carrie. Really yeah <laughs> oh, I hate that. and we're just here to shoot some content do some bits for consistency maybe a couple of house viewings on the cards <laughs> just wanted to show you our Airbnb because it's very cute. As you know, first of all, I don't know why <laughs> I'm just so chaotic right now. Um, basically, when we arrived, we did a little bit of shooting. And I just basically didn't vlog anything apart from when we went to have a meal um, at this like really crazy like Chinese hot pot place. It was like so different to anything I've ever experienced before. I really don't know what the word is. Like fancy, quirk, quirky probably is the right word. Like a quirky cuisine. I don't know if that's common, like, in China, I mean, like, yeah, yeah, but we don't have many restaurants. Yeah, I've never had, like, a hot pot, hot pot style, like, food thing, and um, so we, like, cooked our own food, we had all these, like, nibbles, so I'm going to insert that footage now. We are now in London, and me and Kara have been shooting, and we've come to this beautiful place. I'm not entirely sure how we pronounce it, um, but it's, this is what it's called, Hi. But we've just ordered our food on this in little iPad. It's really sort of fancy, modern in here. <gasps> no way. So. Oh my god. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's charging. Carrie's phone's charging here. It's very, very modern. It's crazy. Like, this hasn't been here too, too long, I don't think. And they're bringing one to Birmingham, apparently, Carrie was saying. Um, but there's like fruit. They've given us like fruit on the tables. Like, they gave us a little kit. Did you bring them? The little kits that they had on the table. So yeah, we've just ordered loads of different bits on here. Yeah, yeah, so this is a complimentary meal. Um, and I literally just went to the toilet and the toilet seats are heated. <laughs> I was like, why is my bum getting like warm? I thought something was wrong with me. And then I thought, oh my God, they're heated seats. Like it's crazy. I feel like I'm living like 50 years ahead. And they had like all sanitary products all in like a little row with like a reed diffuser and like cubicles. Um, and then where you like wash your hands and stuff, there's like Listerine, like mouthwash. There's so many different things that it's actually crazy. Like little hair bubbles, they've given us a hair bubble and um, some wipes for the tables. But so some of our food has arrived. We've got the stock pot. So I think we've got like a spicy one and then just a tomato base. Then we've got the fruit that I showed you. We've got chicken over there, some fried tofu, fried dough balls, some glass noodles. And we are just about to pick our little sauce. Same. So there's like mouthwash, cotton buds, cotton pads. We've got like toothbrush and toothpaste, a comb, hair buns. I'm I'm so confused. And then we checked into our Airbnb and we've just gone and grabbed some snacks from Tesco to last us the next couple of days. We've got some breakfast food to make in the mornings. But yeah, look how cute this place is. We're in staying in a Airbnb in Farringdon. I'll leave my Airbnb thing down below so you can grab some money off. I think it's up to fifty pounds off your first day. It's is that right? Up to four hundred stay and ten on trip. So together, if you have a yeah, if you have like an experience or a ten off an experience, forty off of a stay. Amazing. So if you want to use that, I'll leave it down below. But this is how stunning it is. We've got this gorgeous like wooden table here, which I'm fully in love with. We have made a tiny bit of a mess. <laughs> Too not too bad at the minute <laughs> and then this huge gorgeous like what color oatmeal-y brownie sofa me too that's like what i want in my future yeah. home we've got a nice little rug down here but you worry don't you worry got this beautiful black lamp that sort of goes oh, yeah <gasps> different brightness yeah. intensities yeah. and then we've got this artwork and then this is the probably the what's the 
piece de resistance. <laughs> it's the egg chair in the middle of the lounge, it's kind of crazy. Um, not sure how sturdy it is, but we do love it. It's got like a satin seat <laughs> inside of it. We've got a lovely full length mirror over here. Oh, full length yeah, it really oh, is full oh my God. length. What's that? Is that a light? What's on the left? Um, I don't know actually. It's got like numbers on, it looks like it twists. I'm scared. Up here I'll show you the views in the morning um, of like Smithfield, it's really cute. And um, then we've got Carrie's lovely suitcase down here. And then we've got this beautiful bed with like mesh curtain. Um, sort of like goes all the way around, it's really like dreamy and pretty. And um, we've got some cushions, some more art, lovely little I really like this. It was called like Bespoke Hanger or something on the website. And it's like made out of pipe, which I think is really cool. And then we've got a lovely bathroom with white tiles. Stunning, stunning, stunning. Some cute little mirrors here, here. Sink. And then we have the kitchen. Oh, yeah. The oh, beautiful, so beautiful. Yeah, it does. The beautiful little kitchen in the corner. Very like modern. Uh, I really like the wooden features and how it's just like black and white. I don't know. I just really like that. Yeah, and then we've got a little fridge here. This is all the random stuff we bought for breakfast. We've got like sourdough rolls and like the bits that we want to put inside. Lots and lots of different types of drinks. Um, and then we saw these were on reduced to clear and they're one of my favorites. So, oops. Uh, we're just gonna have a little chill, maybe do some filming and stuff. But we're both really tired from like lugging our suitcases around. We've both got like massive suitcases, lugging them up and down the tubes where there's no like escalators wow. is just a lot. And my arms hurt. Oh, cute. It's coming. Woo. And we've both got red lips on, so sorry about that. <laughs> Good morning, everyone. Um, so this morning, me and Carrie woke up a little bit earlier and started shooting some stuff inside. We've done quite a few reels and um, shot some stuff for Insta. And um, we're just about to head out for our daily coffee run. Carrie's just by my side down here, looking like a little cute urchin. Okay. And we're gonna have a walk to Starbucks, I think, because um, there's one quite close to us. We had a little wander last night, got some snacks, um, when we got some snacks and sort of saw the area and it looked really lovely, like in the, in the evening. So I'm very excited to go out. It looks really sunny outside, doesn't it? Mm. Looks very sunny outside. We've got, but yeah, so basically last night, Carrie helped me do dressing gown curls, which is like a little heatless hack that someone put on TikTok, I think, like really early on into lockdown, weren't it? Mm. And then everyone just started like jumping on it and I still hadn't tried it because I'm a lazy bitch. And I brought my little dressing gown belt um, with me because I was like, right, I can't really bring my curlers because I use them. And I didn't want to like put like really hot, um, tongs into my bag so I brought my dressing gown and was like carry help and she did and this is how they turned out so these are heatless there's no damage to the hair and they literally look probably just as good as if I'd have curled them myself which is just quite shocking and um, also, like my hair literally takes like I would say at least half an hour to curl so that like, I just do this every night every night put in the curlers go yeah. to bed and then it's done for it's literally done for you yeah, it is crazy. It is crazy. So it saves time, effort, doesn't damage your hair. Um, it's just really great overall. So Carrie is going to be doing like a little tutorial, I think, on how she does hers. Um, so if that's up, because it could be up by the time I upload this, then I'll leave it down, down below. Um, but it's going to be on your YouTube, right? YouTube or IGTV. Who knows? Who knows? Let's go get some coffee. So I am crying because I've just cut up an onion and um, me and Carrie have decided to make some like sort of brunch in the flat um, which is kind of cute. Look at this little wooden table. Like, I really want something like this in my future home. Um, but we bought some sourdough rolls last night from Tesco. Just cut up some onion and I'm having some piri piri chicken. And then what have you got over there? Sun-dried tomatoes, mozzarella and parmesan. Lovely. Lovely stuff. And then we've got some peach iced tea because we're addicted. Carrie's just having a beautiful outfit change just in the corner of the road. <laughs> I'm pissing, like, <laughs> this is potentially one of the worst, yeah. <laughs> it's the knee high for me. <laughs> the knee highs and the booty shorts for me. <laughs> this is gonna go on, Bev. See? 
Hey guys, so I'm actually now back home. I realise I barely vlogged in London. Me and Carrie were so busy like content shooting and doing stuff for consistency and, and just like sorting out our future plans and things like business wise. So I literally just forgot to vlog on I hope you're all doing really well. I had so many comments on Instagram about the dressing gown curls. So yeah, definitely check out Carrie, Carrie's YouTube and Instagram. Follow, subscribe to both um, so you can see when she releases that because she is a little wizard and told me exactly how to do it. I wouldn't have been able to follow stuff online. She smashed it. Um, but I did forget to bring my favourite serum, which would have probably helped um, with styling. But oh well, here we are back at home. It's suddenly turned absolutely freezing. I forget that in London it is slightly warmer because of how bad the um, air pollution is there. Um, but it was so freezing when I got back on the train. I was like, Jesus cry it's so cold but it makes me feel so good because that this is literally my favorite time of year when it starts to get a bit colder i can layer stuff up yes yeah, so i'm very very happy about that and yeah i've just come back home it's been really nice to see all my family again cuddle barney my arms and neck and shoulders and basically my whole body hurts from like taking my case um up and down stairs in the tube stations but yeah london is still so desolate so um, I barely encountered anyone whilst we were there because we only used like the tubes on the on the way there and like on the on the way to our Airbnb and on the way back. So at the middle day we didn't use it at all. We barely encountered a single person at all. So yeah, it was quite nice that we were sort of like isolated. Literally, I can't believe how dead London is. Every single time I go, it gets more dead. But yeah, I've just come back home to a few parcels. So I thought I'd run through them whilst before I have a nap um so i first of all i'm sure most of you will know a fabulous hannah hannah has basically started a company with her family i believe called print and web um and she is so cute she sent me a little note she's put hey to charlotte i hope you love these stickers barney's too cute love always fab Han and fam insta account is called print and web they basically cartoonize your pets and oh my god look how cute this photo of barney <laughs> It's making me laugh so much. I'm so excited. I'm gonna send some of these to my brother um, in the post because as you, most of you will probably know, my brother bought Barney. So basically, David is Barney's dad. So I'm gonna send some of these in the post for David, I think, because he'll want to stick them on like his laptop and maybe like in his uni room. I think he'll find them really funny. So thank you very much, Hannah. And if you want to get this as a gift for anyone, that's such a fun, cute idea. And um, print and web. And then I've got a beautiful package from Remy Bakes Company. So Bakes by Remy on Insta um, is from my local area and she makes all of these delicious creations. So we've got a cute little card with the most beautiful handwriting and she's given me a discount code. So if, if you want to use Char 10 on her website, then you can get 10% off. She sent me like a selection of different things. We've got, a red, we've got a red velvet chocolate chip cookie. We've got Terry's chocolate orange. We've got a caramel cookie. We've got a nutty brownie. And then we've got a lotus blondie and a Kinder Bueno blondie, I think, there. But they literally look so delicious. I'm very excited to dig into these after I finish filming and then I've got a couple of packages behind me this ridiculous box behind me but we'll get into that in a second but I've got some bits from Vita Coco I didn't realize I love coconut water so much when I go on holiday and if I ever have like coconut abroad when I'm traveling I absolutely love like coconut milk and um, I didn't realize I like coconut water so much until this summer and Aiden was like honestly have it like Aiden loves it and I literally fell in love with it. I found it really refreshing. So they've sent over a selection here of their different coconut waters. So we've got three of the originals and two of their pressed coconut waters. All of their products are like never from concentrate, which is great. And then they've sent me a little jar that says open me for easy recipes to get your daily dose of vitamin C. Oh, so I think it's like a little recipe book or something. Oh, skinny virgin mojito. Oh my God, there's loads of different recipes. Creamy breakfast smoothie, like how you can incorporate these into your um, daily life if you just, that's so cool. Um, so thank you very much to Vita Coco for sending those over. Aiden is going to be fully buzzing about that. I can Finally, we've got a huge box here, an abnormally large box 
from the wonderful team at Primark because as you guys know I'm working with Primark over on Instagram. The next part of the campaign that I'm actually working on them with is for their sustainable range and using more like recyclable materials during their products. So this is for the A Better Future campaign with Primark. They've sent their Primark Cares box here and it says that the, I am made from 10 upcycled coffee cups. Um, and then inside here we have one of their coats. So look how gorgeous this is. It's like a big, this is literally like my ideal coat, like a big puffer beige. Like this is just like my standard go-to winter coat. And the fact that it's made out of sustainable materials is just absolutely crazy. We've got some like black detailing on the zips. Um, but yeah, this is literally perfect. It's like that sort of quilted padded material. It feels really thick. Um, and yeah, so if you want to find products from Primark that are from Primark Cares range, then this is what the labels look like it has primark cares on this coat is 30 pounds which i guess for primark seems a little bit pricey but because you're knowing it you you know that it's made out of better materials that are better for the environment look how gorgeous this is and i think i got it in a size yeah i got it in a size large which looks so good i'm gonna put it on just so you can see i haven't tried it on yet so i'm very excited i'm gonna shoot this i think tomorrow maybe Oh my God, it's so cozy. I love it. This is like the perfect size. So I sized for a large, which is like a 14, 16. Um, and it is like, has like an oversized fit as well, which is perfect. And it just feels really like, just cozy and warm. And like I can imagine just having like a turtleneck, a sweater and just proper layering up. So yeah. Um, so I've decided to start doing like more weekly style vlogs unless I'm going on like a trip or doing something a little bit more special. I'll keep those to daily, but I think I'm gonna start doing like weekly vlogs now that I'm like back at home and sort of like navigating my life now that I finished uni. So that's what you I seem to like. I spoke on my Instagram stories and I was trying to like gauge what sort of where I sort of wanted to go with my YouTube channel and have a little bit more of a structure. I think this is gonna work for me. So I'm gonna be uploading three times a week um, where there'll probably be definitely one weekly vlog, maybe another sort of like daily vlog and then a main channel CE down style video. And I'm also really enjoying creating Instagram reels at the minute, like all of the styling stuff. What the hell? This is so weird. <laughs> but yeah, so me and Aiden this morning, it's actually Friday when I'm starting this. I don't really know why. Um, but we're heading off to Russian Lakes because I'm going to get the fifth outfit for my Primark campaign. So on Instagram, I've been working with Primark um, doing, well, be, we'll be doing six different outfits. So today I'm getting the fifth one. I'm very excited to have a look in because last week um, we went in to grab the stuff that I needed for my fourth post. And there's so many like cute wintry bits like cardigans, fluffy jumpers. Um, and it's making me feel really Christmassy. So I'm very excited to see what they've got in store. Um, I need to check the Primark brief actually to be honest so basically when i work with companies they usually send over some sort of like brief that pr pr well primark essentially gives me a lot of creative control they just sort of direct me in the region they want to cover so last time i did the new sustainability recyclable range um and they just sort of like gave me free reign of that but sort of on a topic um, and i can't remember what this one is i think it's something to do with like staples like wardrobe, wardrobe staples so something that i'd always go into primark and get um i could be getting that wrong with the last one but um this will be very interesting to have a little look around russian lakes primark isn't massive as well so i kind of like that because it makes me more focused on what i need to get let's go shopping so primark was very unsuccessful so we decided to come to go to cafe nero instead to cheer us up or chip me up anyway. So it just got from bad to worse. Not only could I not even do my Primark thing, Cafe Nero has been demolished. It was actually in our like house of phrase around the side here. And it was all blocked off because they're doing like some construction on the menswear section. And they've literally, I was like, oh, it's fine. Cause there's like a little side entrance. But um, yeah, there's literally no Cafe Nero. So don't know if that's coming back. Probably not. I feel like why would they have just smashed it down if that was not going to be a thing, but. <sighs> I've realised I have not vlogged at all today purely because I've actually been spending my day crying <laughs> if I'm being honest um I after we went to Russian Lakes the Primark trip was unsuccessful everywhere was closed that we wanted to go 
um, which is so odd because it was about 10 a.m. on a Friday. So yeah, it didn't really make any sense and just everything kept going wrong. And then um, I've just been feeling really shit about my life at the minute, even though I know there's nothing really to complain about or anything. I'm just in one of those moods and I can't shake it. And then it's making me more stressed and negative that it won't go away because I've been feeling like it all week. So yeah, it's just, I've just been had, having a really tough week essentially with like just everything you know like when it's literally everything's on top of you like friends like balancing friends family social life um work like just work worries and finance worries and just worrying about stupid stuff and then i obviously had all my period stuff going on i'm actually gonna be doing my makeup at the same time which is very odd because it's quarter to eight and i'm doing my makeup but i actually wanted to film some videos because i know that's gonna make me feel so so much better so that's what i'm gonna do i'm gonna pop a ring light in the corner over here maybe i don't know it might help a little bit with lighting for me to do my makeup and for you to see me a little bit better so i've been worried about my periods i came on my period just at the end of my la the trip um to london with carrie which was earlier on in this vlog i think because i didn't really vlog much in london so i thought i'd combine it into this weekly vlog um, I'm just trying to get to grips with what I want to do like I was saying this morning um, with like upload schedule and stuff so I came on my period after three months and a couple of weeks I think so it was getting on for like four months and I was thinking Jesus Christ like I'm not pregnant what's wrong with me and my whole life literally well I started my period when I was nine I'm gonna do like a proper IGTV about this I think because I feel like it it will really help some people over there but I feel like my audience is bigger on Instagram so I, I want to reach like a, more people because I want as many women to not feel as alone if they've gone through a similar problem to me so yeah so I started my period when I was nine short long story short I started getting really excruciating pains when I was about 12 13 in secondary school and I would constantly go to the doctors they'd dismiss me say that I had a really low pain low pain threshold it was just stress I was probably over exaggerating it's just normal to have those sort of pains but these pains would stop me from going to school stop me from functioning as a normal human being I'll be lying in my bed can't move can't really do anything just sit there cry and scream and then in the past few years whilst I was at uni I started like throwing up from it I started getting really bad vision migraines like it just has seemed to got worse and worse over the years and I've spoken to so many girls on Instagram who have messaged me when I've spoke about these struggles before and um, way before this point and loads of people have either said endometriosis or PCOS and obviously I've done my fair research on both of them there's still so much to learn um, and there constantly will be because surprise surprise women's health is actually not a priority in this world and we still don't have a cure for either so um well we definitely don't for pcos anyway which is what i've looked into more because that's what my symptoms sort of like line up with and then i finally came on my period just as i had registered for my doctors and i was like brilliant like the whole point was for me to be like i literally haven't had a period in three months help but i'd come on i didn't really sort of say this at first but yeah so basically i got put onto a male doctor which I was a bit like mm, like not to be mean but I just I just was not it, it, I just wasn't vibing like I've had so many male doctors who have just like dismissed me whacked me on loads of random pills like really just sort of doesn't doesn't have that sort of empathy like a woman does because of what it is um which I hate to say but it's from my own experience and I was a bit nervous but then I did realise that I actually really liked the guy and he really helped me with my depression and my search really and so I was like very hopeful for what he had to say and at first I was like oh great he said that he wasn't going to put me on another contraceptive pill which I would have rejected anyway because I'd have gone crazy and been like you've put me on so many fucking pills and none of them have worked at all but he basically said that my a lot of my symptoms align with PCOS which is what I'd obviously already figured out myself from researching and speaking to so many women online about it I know people in my real life I know so many of you guys who watch me probably have PCOS because one in ten women have it there's literally five percent of women have PCOS and I barely even knew about it until I started speaking up about my symptoms and stuff and people started going you've probably got PCOS yeah so he sort of listened to me bottom line i had to get some blood tests done on friday me just waiting in the doctors because it took me a while and there was a massive queue for blood tests and he asked me loads of questions that i said no to which were all of like the definitely the endometriosis questions like is it 
am I having pain during sex and stuff like that, which is all like endo related. And then he asked me loads of questions to do with PCOS and that they were related. However, I don't have some of the main symptoms of PCOS, which is why he was like completely unsure and put me straight, asked me to get a blood test straight away because I don't have hirsutism. I think it's called hirsutism. Like I might have got pronounced that completely wrong. Um, but it's basically where um, you have like excess hair growth because you've got your testosterone levels are too high so you get excess hair on like your chest your face and have like lots more masculine um bodily features one of the main features of pcos as well is like acne and i don't have acne either and um, there was a few other things that i just didn't have and that's why he was like a bit confused at the same time and none of my family because sometimes pcos is genetic in some cases or is quite likely to be genetic that was that was, that's how it's gone down and i literally said no like my mum none of my family members have it i didn't really know what to do and then yeah he said go have some blood tests had some blood, blood tests on wednesday and he gave me a call at half five today which is two days later which i thought was pretty good like pretty good going considering the situation at the minute i didn't think my blood tests would, were going to be a priority to be honest um but i'm quite surprised with the like the turnaround considering um, and he basically said, I've got good news and bad news. I was thinking, fuck's sake, here we go. I'll pro probably tomorrow or in a few days, I'll realise that it's actually, so it was actually quite good news that I don't have anything like seriously wrong with me because he thought that I might have my insulin levels um, might be high and I might be like diabetic or something, which obviously seriously affects the PCOS if I did have it um, or it could have been because of PCOS. Um, and things like that and also about weight gain they, oh, I completely forgot about that from the first phone call so he asked about weight gain and I said I felt like I had gained like a significant amount of weight in a short period of time I was like quite concerned as to why I was gaining so much weight when I'd been like exercising a bit more and doing stuff so I did mention my concern and he said that is a sign of PCOS because your body can't basically break down the fats in like carbohydrates and sugars so it stores it and it makes you like gain weight quicker and it makes it harder to lose weight and easier to like put weight on if you do eat anything sugary or carby so he basically directed me to a website which i'm not going to mention um, and told me to basically start fasting he said oh just cut out breakfast and have just like two meals like have lunch and dinner and he was just telling me all this crazy crazy stuff and i was like oh my god like trigger warning like people have fucking eating disorders like stop saying this stuff and instantly i was so scared and worried because i was scared that i was going to go back into a really negative um headspace which is what i did when i was at school and had like really bad body image issues and like I wouldn't say I had any eating disorder as, as, much, as such, but I definitely struggled with eating and restricted myself a lot throughout my teenage years. So I was really panicking. I still am. Like, I still am scared that I'm going to get back into a really bad habit, if I'm honest, um, about eating. But yeah, he told me to fast. He told me to go on keto diets. He was telling me to go on all these crazy restrictive diets and it really upsetting me that, like, that was the fix of all of this agony and pain that i've been going through for all these years is for me to go on a restrictive diet which i definitely know is not the case and my blood results come back he is like everything's fine your insulin's fine your b12 is fine your hormones are fine your thyroid's fine like you don't have diabetes like said all this stuff and then he said the only tiny minuscule thing that's wrong is that my luteinizing hormone is higher than my follicle stimulating hormone which is two of like the period related hormones if anyone remembers from i just remember it so clearly from gcse biology because i found it so interesting and those two hormones like flipped so one is higher than the other when it should be the other way around and he said that's one of the signs of pcos because the follicle stimulating hormone isn't producing as much which is why there would be potentially polycystic i'd potentially have polycystic ovaries which is but it's not high enough like the different the ratio isn't high enough for him to fully diagnose me so he basically just said go on a restricted diet call me back up in six weeks if you haven't got your period again and um, we'll try something new or speak about it i don't know but i just feel like i just felt so gutted i was literally so upset and crying earlier thinking for fuck's sake like i just feel really like lost and shoved to the side and like no one gives a shit about my pain and i don't know i just feel really shit and i spoke about my instagram stories i've had so many so many lovely messages it's actually crazy like when i put anything about it up on my instagram because i get tons of messages from women who are going through very similar things like even just like yesterday or they're like oh today i had a blood test for this and i just didn't really realize at all how many women are going through this which makes me so sad and makes me want to speak about it more because i want women to feel like they can speak about stuff like this really openly so more people get an education of pcos and any like ovarian related diseases 
that's been my day basically me stressing out over that and crying all day love that for me but i felt like if i did my makeup and filmed some videos because that's something i enjoy doing in my spare time it should hopefully brighten my mood i've got a nasty gal package that came earlier which hopefully will be good i got lots of like winter autumn winter staples i've got like a jacket in there some boots so i'm hoping that everything fits really nicely and i can show you it all and it will just be absolutely amazing so i wish me luck with that i feel like it could go one of two ways i could not fit in absolutely anything and i could then cry myself to sleep or everything looks good and it perks me up but i do actually have to thank everyone who follows me on instagram and messaged me the night that um this i'm currently filming this because this will obviously be in the future and um, because you've honestly made my entire night like i wouldn't be here like picking myself up and doing my makeup and filming this evening if it wasn't for you because i was in such a bad rut earlier and i felt like the only way i'm gonna get out of here is if i start talking to people on youtube because that is like my little happy place like i just sort of like get carried away talking and which is why i like sort of vent on instagram like straight away like i literally just come off the phone to the doctors i hadn't even spoken i know it's so weird to some people but i hadn't even spoken to like my boyfriend or my mum and dad who were in the other room after the phone call i spoke to instagram first because i just find it so nice to vent and i know there's so many girls who follow me that's like obviously my what's the word my m most popular audience mem <laughs> what, what am i talking about my most popular followers are females between 18 to 24 which is like exactly where i fit in and that is why i create want to come on there and speak about it because i know that's where people are going to relate to me the most like it's all well and good talking to my family and my boyfriend but they're not going to be going through the same situations sometimes that i'm going through so it is nice to talk about it online and I just find it really soothing for me and comforting knowing that I'm not alone and that other people aren't alone, which is why I like it. So let me know if there's anything specific you want me to talk about on Instagram. I used to do Taboo Tuesdays over here, but I feel like Instagram will be a nicer place to talk about it. So I'm just going to finish doing my makeup and then I'm going to film a nasty gal haul. I might do a glossy box unboxing. I might see how, how much I fancy do it getting through because I feel like I'm in a really chatty mood now. So quiet good morning um i turned around the sadness by filming some videos last night i did a influencer assumptions and a nasty gal haul and both went really successfully so that definitely put me in a better mood i had some crazy beef going on on instagram as well and just some like snaky behavior but to be fair it was quite entertaining it made my evening surprisingly um and yeah, so here we are this morning. Me and Aiden are just about to head to the bank before it closes at 12. Um, and I'm wearing this really cool outfit, like I'm a massive fan. Um, this is from the H&M Kangol range. Oh, it's like a black turtleneck, really soft sweater. It was 19.99, which I think is pretty good. And it's just really cosy. Has the kangaroo on the front. And then I've got these like khaki, sort of khaki. I don't really know what to call this colour. Um but they're boohoo ripped jeans similar to my white ones i just really love the white ones so much that i went for the khaki i've got these new boots on that i showed in my nasty girl haul that i freaking love like i love them so much so i've got those on thought it looked pretty cool and we are off to town woohoo so we are back from town we went to the bank and sorted some bits out i actually need to do some online banking now and update my like taxes and stuff so now that i'm self-employed i have to obviously um keep track of all of my income and <laughs> um, which is obviously something i wasn't um aware of before i started doing social media full time and um, so i've been tracking my taxes this year um, I've had a lot of help from my dad, which is amazing because he's self-employed and he registers his own tax and everything. I have to like put down all of my expenses, things that relate to my job. So like, so like buying my new laptop comes under my expenses and like editing software, things like that. Um, so I have to register that and like when I travel to somewhere that's to do with business um, or like networking, like so when we and carry me and stuff for consistency, we register that and everything along those lines. I need to find where I've put my, ah, so here, uh, my nationwide card reader. So um, yeah, I'm going to do some online banking and then get on with some work. Um, me and Carrie need to do some consistency analysis package follow-ups. So if you're new... 
Um, I have a business with my best friend Carrie and we do, we have a business called Consistency. It's a digital marketing and social growth platform um, and shop. So we sell presets and lots of stuff to do with Instagram, like eBooks, how to grow on Instagram organically um, without buying your followers because that's not the way to go about it. And yes, yeah, so we give our top tips that way. And then we also run the Consistency services, which we've only just launched last month and the first thing we launched was an analysis package we analyze instagram profiles and build a three-month strategy in order to help people achieve their goals whether that's improving their engagement increasing their reach increasing their follow follower account building a community and different ways we think that they could improve um to reach those goals so we've got our first follow-up this month for and um, the packages so it's like one month on after we sent the first package to the first lo load of girls we now have so many spaces open for october so feel free to go check it out i'll leave it down below but the price is so good considering we run it for like three months um and track everything and the amount of work we put into them is just crazy so yeah if you're interested in those i'll leave that down below and yeah i'm just gonna go do some online banking and work for the day <laughs> 